Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I'm back. I am back, baby. Anyway, this is going to be a video about why I do not use React, Angular, or any of the JavaScript UI frameworks. Zero frameworks. That's what I want you to remember about Shy UI. Zero frameworks. And the reason is, is because JavaScript in its plain form, okay, without any UI frameworks, without anything, is the baddest, the strongest language there is on the face of the planet for applications, okay? Uh, you can create mobile applications, des desktop applications, web applications, whatever. Everybody's using JavaScript right now. And the, the stronger JavaScript gets, the less these frameworks are even necessary. We don't need anything right now. But just so you know, I am in the minority here. Most people love frameworks. Okay, this is from the Stack Overflow Developer Survey of 2019. The most loved, dreaded, and wanted fr web frameworks. These are the most uh, loved. And I'm just going to look at the UI frameworks. But React, Vue, and Angular. See, they're on the top. The most wanted, this is what the jobs most want. React, Vue, and Angular. Okay. The most dreaded is jQuery. jQuery is actually the most... Um, uh, most like what the, the way I code, where I like to manipulate the DOM. And I don't really use jQuery as much anymore. I like to use vanilla JavaScript. But people hate it. They really love their web frameworks or UI frameworks. And even the jobs, everybody's looking for these frameworks. React, you know, everybody's looking for React. Advanced ability in JavaScript, whether React, Angular, or Vue. We need Ang uh, Angular and React is a must. And is a must. Exposure to many frameworks is nice to have. You know, we're looking for Angular here, Angular and React. This is another React and TypeScript. Everybody's looking for these frameworks all the time. So then why am I even making this video? Isn't it career suicide not to use this, these revered libraries that everybody's using? Well, I want to introduce my programming philosophy. Okay, this is all a philosophy. And I want to show potential hires what I'm about. I'm actually going to show them this video. And for viewers, they can decide if they vibe with me or not. Okay, if they don't, there's a lot of other channels that use frameworks and lots of files and lots of direct directories and configuration files and all that stuff. And if they vibe with that, it's great. But for people that like simplicity, they're going to vibe with me. And I just want to make sure that you all understand that that it is okay to have a different opinion, okay? In in this uh, industry, it seems like whenever somebody has a differing opinion, everybody just like you're stupid, you shouldn't you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't you shouldn't you should do what we all do. No, it's fine to have a different opinion, okay? Not all programmers need the same exact workflow, okay? Some of us have different preferences, and I want to encourage the new developers. I want to, to show them what minimalistic approaches are to, so, to developing software, okay? There are other ways to do this, guys. And that's what I'll be showing you in future videos. Okay, so who am I? Well, my name is Shai, and I've been programming forever, ever since I was about nine years old. And I've programmed everything under the sun. I'm not like these YouTubers that, you know, started programming maybe after college or during college they studied something different. No, I studied computer science. I'm, I was always about programming and I will always be about programming. I'm a pure scientist, okay? I worked as a video game developer. 
I currently work in finance for an investment company that manages hundreds of billions of dollars. I work for their architecture team. I'm a senior software consultant there and I work as a contractor. I I basically do apps, visualization, and custom controls for traders and researchers. And I've programmed in many languages, everything you can think of from C to C++, Java, C Sharp, but JavaScript is by far my favorite. I actually started as a C Sharp WPF de developer uh, contractor for this job, but I moved quickly onto JavaScript because JavaScript rules, and I especially like vanilla JavaScript, so no libraries. Okay, these are my preferences on software development. The reason I'm saying this is so you can better understand why I don't like these UI frameworks. And you can also get a better under understanding about me as a programmer. That way I could better help you. Now, I personally like minimalism and simplicity. I don't like a lot of files, directories, configurations, and tools. I don't have time for any of that. I see a lot of YouTubers, they're creating the smallest little programs and they just have files and directories everywhere. I just, I can't deal with that. That's one of the reasons I can't stand these frameworks. Uh, I don't use an IDE or a debugger. I don't like XML and uh, th that's what this video is about. I'm gonna explain that in the next few slides. I sure as hell don't like compilation. That's a deal breaker for me. I basically, I can't, I can't stand things that take a long time. They have to happen immediately. Everything needs to be interpreted. That's one of the reasons why React and Angular don't really do it for me because they have they have a little compilation step and I don't, I just don't like that. Um, I don't need object-oriented programming. I used to, you know, do that back in the day. Now I, I, I want to have nothing to do with it. I don't want to see any kinds of types, classes, none of that. Um, I am fully JSON. You know, I don't need types. I don't, it's just it's just pointless to me okay so finally this is the meat and potatoes of this um of this lecture well not lecture but like you know just this explanation um see this c sharp xaml this is what i used to do and it seems that that's what like all these other languages are trying to like mimic right now um even web components which is going to be well it's it's a it's a part of the browser it still has a little bit more time to get through to all of them, but it's 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 almost there. It's right about there. But a lot of these um, a lot of these popular frameworks they take a lot of their ideas from XAML, and I spent years on XAML and C Sharp. I've I've spent years thinking in this in this way, and I call it the XML thought process. I just it, it's basically where you where you see everything as a component. You know, everything is its own. A stack panel behaves a certain way. A text block behaves a certain way. A grid behaves a certain way. It has its own behaviors, its own attributes, its own properties. Every one is different. And I can't, I can't stand that. I just, I, I spent so much of my time dealing with that and going through this type of code that it, it literally, I almost went insane from it. It was just so, it was just such a bad experience for me. And I did this for years. I also have another little story is that back in the day, I used to work at this company where we had this guy that he was really into design patterns. Back then I was using Silverlight and um, you know we were, we were doing the MVVM pattern and using a, a framework called Prism, which was just one of the worst experiences ever. But he was very adamant about using the exact way that Prism works and and all this stuff and we were working on a questionnaire and it took us months and every day it was it wasn't really about the program it was just about how do we get about you know going about the prism way how do we do it mvvm style and not you know mess things up how would, it was just just constantly that again and again and again it was just like going through the the framework and that 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 thing it took us about three months to, to create this questionnaire. I swear I could do it today in, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. It was just the dumbest thing ever. And that's really what made me hate basically XML type uh, UI, which is what XAML is all about. And, and that's what Angular, Vue, and React are trying to do, and web components as well. They're trying to 
yeah, they're 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 just trying to componentize everything. And I, I yeah, I'm 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 done with that. <laughs> I used to do that, not anymore. So nowadays in my programming world, there's there are no types, there are no components. There's basically just two things <laughs> that I worry about in my software. It's basically and this is the Sha UI mantra. And we'll say it three times, but basically var to code is like div to UI. Okay, var to code is like div to UI. Let me see that again. Var to code, see the var? Is like div to UI. And I'm gonna explain what that means right now. See, see this code? This is, uh, you know, this, this would just be like regular JavaScript. All I use is var. I don't use anything apart from var. I don't even use let or const. I don't use any of that extra extra stuff. I don't use anything extra. I just use var. I mean, I'll instantiate functions and stuff like that and, you know, use them as objects. But I just use var. And that's what I love about JavaScript. It's just it's just var. Keep it simple. You just have var. You don't have types, you don't have anything. That's why JSON became so popular. Uh, over, you know, that's why REST beat SOAP. It's just because th there's no types. And that's that's exactly what I loved about JavaScript. And when I said like uh, var to code is like div to UI, if we go to to my div, and this is like my, my, my slogan, right? Everything is a box. Well, it's because I only, in, in the UI, I only have divs, okay? I can do everything. I can write an entire, I can write an operating system right now with just divs. Like I, everything you can do with just this one element. And that right there is what I love about JavaScript. It is the single most important thing that I, that I like about this language. That in code, you have var and in UI, you have div. You just have a box and you can make that box. You can manipulate it any way you want to. You can hide them, you can show them, but that's really all you need. When you start dealing with components, when you start thinking in XML, where everyone is different and everyone has its own properties and everyone has its own files and everyone has its own behaviors, that's when all the problems start. And web components, maybe I'll use it here and there for something like small, but no, I mean, the, the main way to think about code for me or for UI is just with boxes. That's it, keep it simple. Keep it simple, my friends. Anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed this um, this tutorial, and I will see you soon.